Yeah, so, uh, the bugs put a broken mo the broken monocle on Cthulhu. Oh. Cthulhu. Oh, you're not gonna... No. Bless you. <laughs> uh, so now we have the sword, and we can go, uh, do the stuff, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna go de defeat the... The, the thingies. Ew, what is that? Why is this world so weird? And everyone seems totally chill with that. This is a really cute game. It's very creative. I appreciate it. Yeah. I I just really like that it has the voice acting and so you really get the sense of like all the funny voices, you know? I'm also glad that we don't have to make the funny voices and then our throats don't close up and kill ourselves. And we do horrible English accents. Oi! shrubbery! Time to prune you down to size! Huzzah! Yes! Harry a post lunge! <laughs> Ooh, whoopsie! <laughs> this way, Gavin. How did he get past the plant, then? This reminds me of the jungle. <sighs> Shh, fiddle. Over here. I can hear the trees talking. <laughs> ah, Fiddle. You made it past that murderous hedge, then. <laughs> oh, Lord Arthwipe. How did you get in here? I have my ways, Fiddle. Have you got my photomographs? Yes. Yes. Naughty, naughty man. Splendid. Splendid. Ha, ha, ha. You didn't look, did you? I, um, yes. Uh, you mentioned some kind of reward. I did, did I? Let's just say you won't have to worry about that Dullsworth fellow again. <laughs> what the hell? How did you know about that? So it's his son? Um, <laughs> um uh, here, look. A secret passage. Be on your way, Fiddle. You have a murderer to catch, and you don't want him to get away again, do you? <laughs> I smell danger. That isn't danger. <laughs> Mind your step, Fiddle. It can get quite treacherous in there. So, is the killer his son or something? No, I think he was talking about... Dullsworth is the guy that has the soap shop. Oh. Where our wife was asking us to work. Oh, okay. So he killed our wife and ate her. I understand. Nope. <laughs> yes, that's clearly the only logical Mind conclusion. your steps, sir. There must be a way out somewhere around here. My goodness! This tunnel has led us right under the canal. Ooh, fancy that. Gavin! You look different. Oh, you have an eye stuck to your face. Oh, oh. Another clue. Perfect. Oh. That's perfect. An eye for oh. an eye. I wonder if I can put it in the other eye. An eye for an eye. Oh, perfect. An eye for an eye. Just keep doing it back and forth. No, I didn't. An eye. I say. I hope she doesn't have bad breath. Hmm, the all chewing eye. Aww. I knows this isn't right. I say, Ugh. I know Aww. you're supposed to watch what you eat, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is correct. No? Yeah, we got it. We solved the puzzle. I knows this isn't right. <laughs> Have we put the... I knows yes. this isn't right. I say. I hope she doesn't have bad breath. Okay, so... Every single thing has been in all the things. We did it. What a winning smile. Hmm. Okay. An eye for an... That's not to be sniffed at. <laughs> oh, are you an angel? No, I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Oh, I'm Norris, and I'm a bit down on me luck, mister. Me good lady wife threw me out on account of me tuneless whistling. Said it were driving her to distraction, she did. Oh, 
Poor you. Indeed, sir. Now I'm sat here in this tub, a pondering the meaning of life. Oh. Uh... What do we have in our inventory right now? A head and a diamond ring, which oh. is the staple of any innocent person. Yes, don't worry about this. I don't only have diamonds and a, a severed head. Evening, sir. I am on a hunt for the fiendish villain known only as Jeff the Murderer. Have you seen anyone suspicious pass by? No, sir. I've been too busy sweeping up other people's mess, sir. It's going to take me ages to sweep all this muck up. This broom just isn't powerful enough for me. <laughs> it makes me right angry, it does. Especially now I have to use this feeble broom. If only my newfangled automatic sweeping machine hadn't broken. What a marvelous machine! I wonder if I just shove a diamond in there. Yeah. It's too precious. Fine. <sighs> Look at these really weird looking pigeons. Oh, hello. Hello, gentlemen. You're not from around here, are ya? Do you see anything you fancy? Oh, I'd love a bit of muffin. <laughs> you fribbling nitwits. How dare you? <laughs> Uh, what? He just How wants rude. to munch. She threw her muffin at me. He just wanted a munch of your muffin. Yeah, lady. he just wanted to. I'm not going to eat something that's been on the floor. I'm not an animal. All he wanted to do was nibble on your muffin. What's the problem? Um, hi, guys. That's... Oh, what a beautiful turnip you have there. Leave my turnip alone! Oh, it's my beautiful baby turnip. They call me Pokey Mary. Cause I'll poke ya with this. Oh, she will as well. Look what she did to my hat. I will poke ya. Yeah. Yo. We don't like your sort around here poking your noses in. You poke your noses in here, I'll poke you in the nose. Hey, you know what that reminds me of? What? That Sawbones podcast about the woman who was giving birth to baby rabbit. Oh. God, it was so gross. In case you guys don't know, this is a true story. Oh. But a lady who was in England, and she was like, I'm giving birth to baby rabbits. And she was... A uh, gross, 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 disgusting warning in case you guys are squeamish about yeah, those things. this is disgusting. It's just, the most disgusting thing ever. Just skip ahead. She accident. she she had a miscarriage. Ba the, the miscarriage came out. That's not the gross out. part. And so her cervix was still open. So she had, like, somebody come in and just shove, like, like a cat with rabbit feet sewn to it into her uterus so that no, she'd give no, birth no. to it. Yeah. Pieces of animals. Oh, pieces and of baby animals. rabbits. And, Some and, of them were alive. And, into her uterus. Yeah, they were. And it came out. And then later, her husband bought baby rabbits. And they kept, she, she just kept shoving things in there. It wasn't just in her vaginal canal. It was in her. Her cervix. Sometimes it was just in her vaginal canal. Yeah. So but they, the reason they found out is because they discovered that the rabbits, like, when they cut one of them open, because they were like, holy crap, like, how is she giving birth to rabbits? And, okay, these rabbits weren't alive. They were Some of them were alive, but some of them were dead because they were dying inside of her body. Anyways, they did an autopsy on one of the rabbits, and they discovered, hey, they have, the little baby rabbits have poop in them. How's that possible? How did they eat things? And to uh, bring this all back around to everyone blaming women, they believed this because back then they believed that if you thought about rabbits too much or whatever, you or could got possibly give birth to a rabbit. Yeah. They were like, oh, if your baby comes out with physical abnormalities, it's because the mother, I don't know. It's the mom's fault. It's because the mom thought about a certain animal which kind of looks like that baby. So if you're pregnant, you just need to sit there and think about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> or just think about healthy babies the They'd whole time. They'd be like, oh, like she, was, like, she was stressed or, like, she didn't, like, throw salt over her shoulder and so now her baby has a deformity. It was always the mom's fault. Exactly. Not, was, oh, well, that's not always. Sometimes it was, like, a devil possession or, like... Yeah, but if it was a devil possession, it was the mom's fault because she was like, ooh, I love having sex with the devil. Also, you know? sometimes it was a fairy changeling. Oh, that too. Ooh. Yeah. 
And then, of course, in that in that episode of Lore Podcast, yes, it ended up being a guy because, being upset that his wife like didn't give a shit about him. So then he- she was self sufficient and she was cheating on him, <laughs> and so he was like, "It's a fairy changeling," and he burned her alive and then buried her in a shallow grave. And she he was like, "Now she'll come home to me because I, you know, exchanged because her I couldn't for the- handle the fact that my wife had her own job." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I burned her alive. Bringing it back around. <laughs> back to Bertram Fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, gross warning over. I guess this whole game is gross, though, so... Anyways, whatever. go listen to Lore Podcast and Sawbones Podcast. They're both really good. Yeah. We're closed. No one crosses the bridge after dark. It ain't safe. But I need to get across. I am on very important business. Sorry, mister. Since the murderings started happening, we always shut it at night to keep the rascals out. Can't you just open it a little bit? It's more than my job's worth. I'm off home for a nice plate of kippers. You'll have to come back in the morning. Whatever, jerk. Oh, Frudge, what shall we do now? Basket! An ensemble of reeds. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, we might be able to, like... We're going to need a bigger boat. Hmm. You know how you can like swim and breathe through it? Yeah. So, uh, I just want to go look around a little bit and then we'll see, we'll come back to it. Yeah, maybe we can help this guy fix his machine. Can we just come from here? Or, oh yeah, we came out of the... Oh. Nope. It's rather unbecoming of a man of my standing to be rooting through dustbins. A jar of gruel, a rubber sock. Ooh, what's this? A cork. Right. Hmm, this door looks important. Hello, I'm on the trail of Jeff the Murderer. Can we come in? Did Sir Bruce send you? Uh, yes. Prove it. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're right about the straw thing. Yeah. An outside meditation chamber. Ew. Ooh, someone's been meditating a lot. Ew. Oh. Ah! What? What? There's a rat in the toilet. What am I going to do? Look at its fangs. <laughs> this is so weird and gross. Here, ratty, ratty. Yay, uh, now we can get that hmm. thing. Good for reaching awkward places. Ew! Gross. <laughs> Why do you need a toilet brush? There's nothing. To... No. Yes. Ugh. Hmm. Is it? Oh, I wonder if it. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Will this be of any use? Ooh, I bet that cost a pretty penny. But I fear it would lead me astray. Oh, that's very noble of you. Wow. Hmm. What can can I put a cork in there? <gasps> or the brush? Yay! Woohoo! There you go! As good as new! Oh, thank you, sir. But with my contraption back at my command, I'm capable of anything. Who knows what I may become? Time to clean up this muck and make everything immaculate. 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 Uh, exterminate. Uh -huh. Exterminate. <laughs> so, let's see. We got a head, a diamond ring. A reed, a broom, and ugh, a toilet brush. And ugh, that's yeah. the word for a toilet brush. Yes. So let's try and cross the river with the reed. See what happens. And is there anything we can give them? Uh... So I can't poke holes in that either. <laughs> I didn't want to anyway. Oh wait, what if she wants a flute? Pow, pow, pow. You've pierced my reed. Oh. What can we do with a flute? Hmm. 
Maybe we have to play a song in front of that door and the woman will let us in. Most unbrushworthy. Be sweepable. <laughs> Mari's shaking her head with each one of these, and I'm loving it. You're gonna make a great dad one day, Stacy. Yep. Hello, I'm on the trail of Jeff the Murderer. Can we come in? Did Sir Bruce send you? Uh, yes. Prove it. No, that's not going. Uh... I have this enormous diamond ring. They aren't listening. Hmm. Most unbrushworthy. So. Be sweepable. We have a flute, a diamond ring, oh, now he can whistle. Will this be of any use? Oh, thanking you kindly, sir. I'm going out to whistle my wife back. Oh yeah, okay. Now we have a tub. Oh a wait, boat. yeah, a boat. Put that in your butt. There we go. Perfect. That will most certainly float with us in it. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! I love it. It floats! That, okay, whatever. It's shaped like an Amazonian coracle. It's shaped like an Amazonian coracle. Um, We're going to need a bigger boat. Um, what about the, this? Okay. You can use this broom as a paddle. Okay, now get in it. Hmm, I think it's probably better if I stay on this side and keep a lookout. Yes. I'm not a fan of his accent. Hold on, sir. Yeah. This won't take long. A bit faster. We haven't got all day. Hmm. Click. Oh. At your service. Now lower the bridge. Certainly, sir. The simple solutions are the best. Ooh, spoopy. Hey, that's an interesting looking spider. Um, there's an eyeball right here. Oh. Excuse me, young whippersnappers. <laughs> that eyeball belongs to me. Find its keepers, mister. We saw it first. If you want it, you'll have to beat us at marbles. Yes, sir. Well, I used to be rather good at this game when I was a lad. You can't play unless you've got a marble. We don't make the rules, mister. Maybe we can use that diamond ring. I'm keeping this gigantic diamond to myself. Maybe we can just touch him with the toilet brush and the uh, <laughs> What about that house? Oh. I thought maybe we could an just an eye for an eye. That we could just use an eyeball oh. as a as another marble. She's playing with a smartphone. She has an eyeball. Maybe, hold on one moment. I'm busy attending to my clockwork farm. It's very enchanting. Oh, cool. What's that card? I recognize that mysterious symbol. You Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. And currently I am hunting down the true identity of Jeff the Murderer. Perhaps you know of him. 
What are you accusing me of? Nothing. You'll have hmm. to excuse my husband. He's been under a lot of pressure lately. He is a very sensitive man, aren't you, Bruce? Ever since the accident, when my parents died in the most suspicious of circumstances and left us this house and untold wealth, he's been very tense. <laughs> I kept hearing voices. Terrible, persistent voices. You used to attend those seances to try and find tranquility, didn't you, dear? With that curious medium, what was she called? Madam Blackheart. Used to visit her every week, but now she's on the other side. <gasps> you mean she's dead? No, on the other side of the canal. The less lubrious part of town. I keep meaning to see her, but I, I have a lot on my mind. Oh, so now we can talk to ghosts with that lady. Yes. Wilford and Willison are in the naughty cupboard because of what they did to that poor old man. No treats for them. Um, so if we have to prove it, we might have to grab something. I think we have to grab this. I'll just, uh, use this disgusting thing. Most unbrushworthy. Quiet, AJ. What's that card? I recognize that mysterious symbol. What are you doing, sir? Who are you, and why are you in my house? Uh, look at that cat's face. We want a lollipop. We want a lollipop. Okay. Right. Okay. So they're horrible. Wilford and Willison are in the naughty cupboard because of what they did to that poor old man. No treats for them. Hmm. Most unbrushworthy. That's a lovely color. That's my rouge for giving my cheeks a pinkish glow. Do you like them? My cheeks. Of course, my dear. Do you think we might be able to go back to her? Oh? The Pearl of Minimoto. What an opulent treasure. I wonder if I could borrow it for a bit. As a marble. It's like a million dollar pearl. <laughs> well, the diamond that we've got is quite significant also. They all seem to just live in opulence, so they're like, whatever, use my pearl as a marble. Check out the size of this marble. Ha-ha! <laughs> cool! Has a shiny one in it! You win, mister! You win! Wait, we- what? My banana! <laughs> I say, come back with that! Uh... Well, how did that get here? The final piece of the puzzle. Face puzzle thing. Hmm, does it go here? Where? Uh, an eye for an eye. Here we go. We did it. Now what do we do with it? An eye for an An eye for an eye. Yes. And now we use the head for something at some point. Can that spider has a face. Yeah. Look at the size of that spider. <sighs> oh. Yes. Oh, the cobwebs are all stuck to my brush. Hmm. Oh, now we can go steal that card because yes, it's sticky. It's sticky. Solve the puzzles. Do do do. I'm so glad we've learned to think completely tangentially. Yes. Hmm. It's not working. Do we have to get him to... That would be a waste, don't you think? Do we have to get him to look away, or... That would be a waste, don't you think? Huh. What are you doing, sir? Who are you, and why are you in my house? Should we give it to the twins? Will they think it's a lollipop or cotton candy? Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong place. He shan't tell our secret until we get some sweeties. How about some candy floss? Ew. That doesn't look like candy floss. It's the wrong color. Oh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna make these children we're die. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna do something disgusting. Mmm. Now it looks... Oh. <laughs> Yes, here, have some dysentery. Have some spider web dipped in blush. Candy floss. Wrapped around a toilet brush. Yep. Grow a real mustache. 
What? His mustache. Like giving fake candy to a baby. So there was a tonic that said that it would make you grow a mustache, so maybe yeah. that's a clue. Let's go call him not a real man until he cries. Yeah. Oh. Your mustache! It's all crookedy. Here, let me. Oh, don't touch my mustache. You fool! What have you done? That's right. I can't grow a mustache. Are you happy now? There, there, darling. I still love you. <laughs> in a way. It's just not right. Makes me so ashamed and angry. All right, let's thank you for your help. Have he knows, you know. He knows everything. Right. Anyway, bye. Let's go get our fortune told by a nice lady. This candy floss tastes funny. You tricked us. We don't like to be tricked. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, okay then. <laughs> that sounds very suspicious. I think we should get out of here. Well, time to leave the country. <laughs> I have an invitation from Sir Bruce. Hello. Who are you? What do you want? I'm here to see Madam Blackheart. I sense you're greatly traveled by something. Yes, I am. How did you know? She's very good, isn't she, Gavin? You're searching for something. Someone. A stranger. Yes, yes. Jeff the murderer. Here, have a head. Uh. Oh, Shashavastat. Oh. This is what? Very what? I was told you could help me find who did this by contacting the spirits. But I'm rather skeptical. Yes, I contact the spirits. But first, you must cross my hand with silver. Oh, I have to get the ring. You. Yeah, okay. Here you go, lady. Sorry, I don't have any silver. Ooh, but I do have this massive diamond. That will do. <laughs> that, yes, that's fine. Oh, spirits, can you hear me? Shh, someone is answering. She's in great torment. I 
think that has given them the slip. Are you okay, sir? Oh, Gavin. I feel most peculiar. Like I've been scrubbed inside out with an ice-cold, dirty dishcloth. At your service. Hmm. Got nothing. Got nothing. That's a leg. Oh, yeah, look for the line of the spotted calf. What's this street called? Mutton Alley? Remember? <gasps> Sherlock! What are you doing here? Oh. Aha, <laughs> fiddle. Maybe you aren't such a fool as I thought. But you're too late. He's already gone. Who? Jeff. Jeff the murderer. What's the matter, fiddle? You look like you've seen a ghost. Shush, Watson. You must think you're pretty clever tracking him down to this unassuming lair. But the fiend is obviously a criminal mastermind. Always one step ahead of the law. It's like a game to him. He's toying with it's us. you. It's obviously you. <laughs> What's wrong now, Fiddle? You look like a confused carrot. Are you sure this is that fiendish villain's house? Hmm. A letter addressed to me? Dear Mr. Fiddles, you think you are so clever following my clues, don't you? But maybe you aren't. Maybe I left them for you to find. Or maybe I didn't. The miserable demon what tells me what to do says the story isn't finished yet. I will be back. Yours true, truly, Jeff the Murderer. P.S. Do you like hot dogs? <laughs> oh no, AJ. I can smell burning. <gasps> no, 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 no. Foofy, are you okay? Oh no. What kind of a maniac would make sausages out of a dog? Werther isn't going to be happy with oh, this. Oh, no! Uh. I can hear scratching. Oh. Foofy, where is it coming from? Oh, my God. The, I, I was about to get real upset. It's under the floorboards. So have him move the table. At your service. Quick, Gavin, move the table. Look, a trapdoor. Step aside, Gavin. Oh, uh, Luffy, you're alive! Goody. Well done, sir. Oh, Werther will be so happy. Looks like it's time for us to return home, Gavin. Wait, let's look at some clues and then have our wife yell at oh, us. Oh, he hasn't changed a bit. Oh, uh, hmm. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh hmm. my god. <laughs> ah, we must have just missed him. His dinner is still warm. Liver, mushy peas, and a nice bottle of gin. Nom 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 nom. I must say, I am very impressed, Mr. Fiddle. It looks like you really had that villain on the run. Are you going to continue your pursuit? Do not fear, Emelina. Even though I'm going home to have my supper and get a good night's sleep, I shan't rest until I solve this mystery and uncover the secret identity of Jeff the Murderer, whomever he is. Well, I for one can't wait for the next thrilling installment of this adventure. And don't forget about the wager, Holmes. You'll have to do a lot better than this if you want to see me in a lady dress. <laughs> what a marvelous story it's turning out to be. Extra! Extra! Winged Beast carries on newspaper vendor! They all seem to take all these very weird things in stride, so I'm assuming all this is hey, normal. let's play with this! Dead head! <laughs> oh my goodness, this eye doesn't go there! Mm hmm. Wow. This is wonderful. What? This is just a wonderful thing. I like it. It's very puntastic. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> I like how, like, uh, cartoon dark it is. Yes. 
Unwrapper.com. What does that mean? I don't know. I like the art direction and I like the, uh, I like everything. And I like that the credits aren't 17 minutes long. Rumpus! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was cute. I can't wait to play the second episode. They said that they're gonna make it longer and more in-depth puzzles and you know that was part of the why they did the crowdfunding is because they wanted to like be able to do more with it you know well i hope doing this video made people more people interested yeah